So, today, we're going to continue our hardcore journey through the Minecrafts. So let's swap on over to that, and we'll begin. So I've been playing some Minecraft off stream just to kind of refresh, like, how stuff works. Because I, I could not remember how to make rails, and I could not remember how to make, like, half the stuff. Like, I had to look up how to make a book just now, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, first of all, let us look. I want to show you guys this this island, this non-hardcore map real quick. What I've been doing in my, my off time here. So this is my, my little house here. Kind of lovely. Actually, real quick, I'm going to drop this down to 30 chunks, maybe, rendering. There we go. There's a little bit of a lag that's happening. So... So this is my, my little house. I got a little bit of uh, stuff in here. Got some different chests with different stuff in it. You know, pretty pretty much still a noob setting set up, right? But the, the thing is, look at this beautiful, like, landscape that I found. Uh, I made, like, a little uh, a stilted house here. Looks just beautiful. Um, I didn't do any terraforming to this area. It was just a huge open bay, and it was just beautiful looking. Hey, Shadow, what's up? Welcome to the stream, my dude. But uh, I really got to say, I was, like, just typing in random seeds because a friend of mine wanted to uh, start up a server and was like, hey, you guys got any cool seeds and yada yada. And I was like, yeah, man, I'll, I'll give you some seeds. So I, like, spent, like, an hour just typing in random words and uh, looking for, for seeds that would work. And uh, I don't remember which word it was that got me to this one. Because I was typing in like a bunch of just like perverted <laughs> words. Ah, uh, good stuff. Um, but anyway, so I, I started up here, built a house, uh, expanded a farm, got a nice little crop of you know wheat here in these two fields, potatoes in this field, and we got some beets that are starting up in this field. I also made a uh, nice little shack over here for my for my little sheep to be in. Along with a little uh, interior here for them to, uh, well, not for them. This is for me and whatnot. Just kind of add to the the detailing of the area. Haven't really done much, like I said, with this area. But I also have a little mine shaft down here. Nothing impressive. I'm not gonna go down and show y'all it, but just a, just a mine shaft. Just 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 a chill chill mine shaft going all the way down to like level ten, I think, for diamond mining. Um, and of course, I've spent a little time lighting up the the surrounding area so monsters don't spawn and kick my ass and all that fun jazz. But I really like like I found this, and you spawn like right here, like in this area, just facing this open bay, and it was like beautiful. I was like, "Yep, I gotta build a house here." So I might expand this one further and like add a couple more houses just for like decorative touch stuff, you know. But if you want the seed this area that's the seed so if you want to you know take a screenshot or copy that or whatnot and you know start a, a world here um, I believe there's uh, a couple of shipwrecks well there's one big shipwreck over there that has like two chests in it there's two villages off this way uh, both kind of small and whatnot uh, that you can go to uh, just just across the ocean over that way not very far at all I haven't explored much over this way, but over here, it looks like there is a mountainous biome with some taiga trees over there, spruce trees. There's a spruce forest over here, and like a normal looking forest over there. So you got like plenty of different options to choose from. And then I think I went over this way to like dig up a treasure chest that was over on this chest and whatnot. But there's a mountainous biome over there too so you got plenty of different options to choose from in this area that you can uh, go to and there's also a huge pit right here that you can go down and start mining if you don't want to you know dig straight down to you know whatever strip mining levels but uh, anyway that's that's my personal world that's uh i'm starting up and just kind of doing a little multiplayer world with a, a friend of mine's server but i'm not going to show you all that because i have a hidden base that i don't want to give away anyway we're going to hop into hardcore and uh, I think, uh, when did we leave off here? Hold on. If 
feedback, well, get 30 chunks, just making sure everything's the same here. So you're gonna notice as I'm moving around, like I don't have the bobbing movement anymore. I just did some settings for my personal time, but like, it's really weird because uh, like I first toggled it and I was like, oh weird, the uh, the ax and the shield and stuff aren't moving. It's like I'm just uh, ghosting around, like just floating and stuff, which I thought was kind of neat. Um, and just to kind of have like a further render distance and whatnot. So I can't really remember what we were doing in our hardcore world. Um, so we got a silk touch shovel. We got a lure. I know we were we were going over there to mine, right? Yeah, we were looking for uh, for loot and stuff. That's what I remember. But before we do that, let's just let's take a quick peek around town. I don't think we ever really looked and saw what or who we have for um, villagers, right? We should probably also at some point surround the village by a wall to uh, prevent the uh, the pillager raids from coming here. But uh, speaking of raids, uh, he's a little broken up. All right, so this farmer will take... Really? You're going to take an emerald to basically cook a cod? You're also going to be a bucket of cod. Okay. That's useless. We'll have to uh, find his spawn point and change it up at some point. Um, who else we got around town here? Anyone else? I'm not seeing people kind of out and about. Nope, I hear someone over here. Are you inside, sir? You are. Are you a potion seller? You're a cleric. So you take rotten flesh for emeralds. Okay. Not a great trade rate. That's a lot of zombie kills, unless I set up a farm. Uh, you keep doing your thing then, sir. Uh, there's nothing else over this way. A lot of houses for not a lot of villagers. I think I heard one from here. Yeah? Another cleric? Yeah. Another third. Same exact trade. Huh. Any other villagers hiding around here? There's another cleric station. Okay, well, we don't have anyone really good. We'll need to make a lectern at some point so we can get a uh, guy to sell us, like, books and enchantments and stuff. Actually, couldn't I just ring this bell? Don't they, like, come out to the bell if I ring it? So is it rung one ring to some of them and two to like dismiss them or they're not coming? What's the purpose of bells? I thought they attract villagers. Well fine. So we got two clerics and a farmer, all of which have shit trades. Good to know. Anyone in here actually? We didn't look. There's a lectern, so there's space for someone to become a uh something. There's that farmer. Thought it was a different one. So we got three villagers, huh? Did a, a raid come by and... <gasps> nope, here's one. Sir, you're a blacksmith, right? What do you got? Huh? Coal for emerald. That's actually a very decent trade. Um, the coal for the emerald there. Being as coal is pretty plentiful. Okay. Well, we have one good, decent-ish trade. But like I said, uh, we're probably going to want to attempt to consolidate the village a little bit so their villagers aren't spread all over and whatnot all right but anyway we can do that stuff later for now let's get rid of this sapling we used a lot of daylight so let's go back over here and try and remember where the hell we were i remember we were near a oh right we were exploring a mine shaft at the bottom of one of the gorges that also had a gorge inside the gorge, inside the, the mine shaft. Like, oof, crazy stuff. So I think if we just go this way, it should be like right over there, I think, right? Also, my god, I was playing on my, uh, my friend's server, right? And I did not remember tridents dealing like god tier damage but apparently they do like i was getting like four shot in full like iron armor by tridents and 
It was... It was didn't help matters that the uh, Trident Thrower was a, a baby drowned. So it was like even harder to hit. Oh, it was it was not a good time. I was also having issues with like hitting cave spiders. Their like hitboxes were messed up. I actually found a really cool mine shaft in a mesa biome where uh, there's two spider spawners right next to each other. So I might turn that into like a giant like spider grinder to get some experience and cobwebs for uh, wool because I've not seen a single sheep on that world, which is insane to me that I've not seen a single sheep at all. Ow. Okay. Nope. Didn't hurt. I thought it was going to hurt. But it's so weird. Ha. Huh. I think part of the reason we may have gone back to uh, the village is because I don't have enough durability on my stuff. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Well... You outside my house just moaning, sir? Stop that. Okay, what do we want to take with us? Uh, we're going to go back in the mine. Definitely want to get some sticks. There will be wood down there to make crafting benches and stuff like that. We'll get cobblestone if we need it to make other stuff. We'll go with this. And it's nighttime, so let's actually uh, wait a couple more minutes here and we'll take a good old sleepy sleep to bypass the night. Although, it might be better to explore at night down there, since we'd have less of a uh, issue with monsters, since, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. So the reason being for that is, uh, since it is night, up top, more monsters will spawn above, which means less monsters will be below. Okay. Well, I got another pickaxe, that's good. Oops. Okay. Well, shit. I'm gonna... Uh, didn't I have a bucket? I, am I... Oh, well, good luck spawning there, spiders. <laughs> okay, let's explore. Let's continue on. Oh, my golly. This is gonna be insane. Maybe we uh maybe we don't place torches down and we just go with like our torches and uh, use them sparingly, you know? Just kind of explore around, have a good old time. There's some iron. We'll need that for another sword when and if it breaks. I don't know why I said if when it breaks because it's gonna break. Let's get some wood so we can make a crafting table. Hey creeper. Also, I've decided it would probably be wise to not uh, try and kill creepers, but to cause them to explode in an area that will not hurt me. But probably the best bet. Otherwise, it's going to be like a hit and back up, hit and back up, hit and back up kind of thing, which is never really great, especially if you're in hardcore. So... Okay. I heard a skeleton fall or something. It took damage. That's for sure. Knock, knock. I guess the one advantage of placing torches down would be that uh, I could avoid getting lost or avoid getting uh, monsters to spawn behind me, but... You know what? That's fine. It also was a huge waste of resources. So, hey spider. Where'd you come from, bud? Ow. What's off this way? I've been down here. Okay. Well, there's some, uh... Let's look up here real quick. Is it a dead end? Okay. And some iron. Hell yeah. So really our objective right now is we need to find some diamonds in order to get a uh, diamond pickaxe to get some obsidian. That way we can craft an enchantment table. That way we can uh, 
get enchant- Oh, fuck, 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 that's a spiner. A spiner? A spawner. I should- so oh god. He killed that bat. Oh my god. Hold up. We need to eat real quick just to get our stuff up. God damn it, I hate when that happens. Shit, 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 shit. I don't know why I'm panicking. Okay, hold on. We need to- we need to go back. This, uh, this ain't how this is gonna go down. Okay. Real quick, we need to get uh, some stuff made. Do we have uh, charcoal? Yeah, I do. Okay. All right. First things first. Boop. 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 -ba doop. Crafting table. Next. Furnace. Boop. Next, we put that there and start spitting that. What's this? Okay. Ah, uh, so let's see. I need to make a shield, which requires a lot more wood than this, unfortunately. Oh, ho, can I just like sneak some wood here? Or am I just gonna? I'm not sure how much wood it is to do that. Eight should be enough. I don't think it took that much. Not that. There we go. Okay. That's enough for a shield. Boop boop. Ah, uh, unfortunately, that means I'm not gonna have light. Hmm. I wish I could make like a. A light shield, you know? That'd be handy. Okay. I'm gonna place down these chests here. A lot of Moni boys over there. Oops. Uh, I want the cobblestone still, though. Okay. Do I still have wood? I don't have enough wood to make a door. I was gonna build a door quick. Uh, let's do that real quick before I forget. One, two, three, four, five, six. Didn't wait long enough there. Okay. Wow, that piece of wood flew really far. Wait, huh? Where'd my other wood go? I cut down six. Oh, there it is. Okay. Just make a door. Boop. Okay. Can also just kind of put a little uh, window here, I suppose. That way we can see if there's anyone hiding outside of our area, right? Actually, better idea. We can use these fences to sort of uh, block the way nearby, you know? So... Through that area. We're exploring this way so we can just run back here and hide if we need to, which will work. And then uh, let's just go ahead and block off that. Making some plans. Alright. Okay. Hello, Zombino. That's got to be a spawner in there. Yep. Okay. I go over here. Should be able to get them to just kind of come near me and then swat them away. Unless they keep spawning and coming towards me, which will be really bad news since I'm trapped here. Oh boy, this is bad news. At least we get some rotten flesh to trade to the villagers, right? <laughs> this this is not good. Yeah, this is real not good because my sword's about to break. Yeah. Okay. So, assuming no more come, we should be able to get out of there. But real quick, I need to make another uh, sword because that one's gonna break real quick. 
Okay. Let's store that stuff there. Put that one there. All right. Yeah, buddy. Come here. Let me let me just kill you. Come here. Yeah, come on. Let's get this crits. Okay. Jesus, that was a lot of experience. Okay. Come on, bud. Yeah, I figured it was a zombie spawner. Okay. Okay, this will be tough. Uh, what if I put this here? And then... I can try to light up the area from here? Okay. Broke the sword. Perfect. So it looks like they're going to be pushed back that way. Okay. I can go around then. Assuming the uh, unfortunate. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. Ow. God. Okay, dudes. Nope. Man. Did they all did they go all the way around? They did. Holy shit. You guys are so persistent. Nope, we're hiding again. What up, losers? Welcome to my kill hole. Where we kill you. Actually, what we could do... We can get out the other way. Like, just behind them. We might have better luck. Just light up that area real quick. Let's grab this iron while we're here. Never have too much iron. Unless you're playing modded, in which case you, you can definitely have too much iron. But. Alright. So I might. Okay, so we got through here. I think it was like one, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, the skeleton was like, oh. Okay. So here maybe. All right. So this is where I just blocked. Perfect. Let me just grab an iron. Okay. Was that a fucking another spawner over there? Hold on. First. Yeah. Let me just light it up real quick. Okay. Take this loot. Don't even care what it is. We'll just take it. Okay, no. I was thinking that the rotten flesh was loot for some reason. Okay. Let's get back to our, our nice, safe little waypoint here. Alright, what did we get? We got a disc, a whole lot of nothing, a golden apple. Okay. That works. Alright. So we got some stuff. Not bad. Really? Zump? Oh. Make sure nothing's gonna push me down there and just like instantly kill me. Okay. That's, that's fine. Let's, let's seal this up real quick so I don't have to accidentally fall down there and die. Alright. So, note that place down. We can make a, uh, a zombie spawner there to get levels. I really need a diamond sword with enchantments. That's gonna be like pivotal to our survival is uh, not dying from a bunch of jerks. Okay, we're gonna go back to the uh, let's light shit up plan. So I can always have a shield. Got it. 
All right. So as long as there's light around that spawner and there's nowhere else for them to spawn, we should be all right. In terms of uh, not getting our butts kicked. Actually, I'm gonna go real quick down here. Here we go. All right, this tunnel's secure. Second pick. It's always disconcerting hearing uh, zombies and stuff around you when you don't know where they're at, especially when you're in a cave in hardcore. Well, I'm just gonna leave that creeper there. He can he can fall. I said fall. There we go. Just get enough distance to where they uh, blow themselves up, but you don't get hurt. That's all you gotta do. Hello, bat. Oh, this one's going down hella deep, okay. Ah. Just iron, okay. Bat, don't get in my way, man. Well, finding a spawner is actually really good for us in terms of uh, having something secure to level on. And it's not too far away either, which is also really good. Thing is, we just gotta get materials to be able to create. Uh, a good spawn kill thing area. I was drawing a blank on what to call it. A, a grinder? Mob grinder? Nope. I don't know why I said nope when I have a shield, but... So I can get about two hits on them before they uh, decide to say, no, screw you. Hey, there was iron there. Oh, hey, spider. Are you rocking? Okay, bat, I'm gonna have to fucking kill you if you keep doing this. Okay. Oh. Yay, my favorite thing in the world. A cave spider spawner! You know, for some reason, the other ones uh, on my friend's server, they weren't poisoning me. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Can't die from poison, right? Yeah? Woo. <laughs> oh boy, that was close. Way too close. Alright. Let's, uh, let's heal up. Hey, Mr. Drad, how you doing? Welcome to the stream, my man. Oh boy. Alright. So let's just uh, chill here for a moment and uh, regenerate our level health. Ba -ba 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 -da. remove that block so I can just run out if I need to. Charge! It really sucks that poison like literally destroys all of your health. Yeah, I've been streaming for couple months now. I streamed before as well, but I kind of stopped for a while while I was getting some, like, stuff together. And now we're back at it. Every, uh, Wednesday and Thursday from, uh, like, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time to 8 p.m. How do you poison me through my shield, you jackass? Oh, my God. Okay. You know what? Spiders. 
Also, this uh, starting this week. Oh my god, he got me! Starting this week, as I was attempting to say, we will uh, be doing streams on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. No, Sunday, Monday, and yeah, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday for uh, Fallout 76, since they decided to deploy the patch early uh, for Broken Steel. I'm going to remove the, the Friday stream that I was doing since uh, I've got like 10 anime that I watched that day. so much like cobweb back here i hate this okay that should hopefully give us enough uh space to not get spawns of those jerks oh god what from where i thought it came from behind and i was gonna fall i was like well fuck no there what where, where's he at huh Well, it's not exactly 10. I kind of, uh, I just said the first number that came to mind. But, uh, you got the, uh, God, I don't even know how to name some of them because they're <laughs> Japanese names. There's fucking, uh, let me, let me just, real, yeah, okay, pause. Real quick, the anime that I'm watching on Fridays is The Wandering Witch, the hundred, I'm standing on like a hundred men, uh, the girl, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Over the moon for you? And uh, Jutsu Kaisen. And Jutsu Kaisen is pretty neat. I like that one. Yeah, growling over there, huh? Okay, I don't know if I want to continue. Wait, you're a dead villager, my man. Thanks for the leather boots, I guess. All right, let's head back to here real quick. Eh, okay. We got a lot of loot. So, I actually think we want to I'm going to get the hell out of here. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to we're going to bail real quick. Okay. Uh What do I need and what don't I need, huh? That's the question. Uh, I don't need music discs. Those are not great. I want to have like extra space in my inventory. Uh, spider eyes, don't really need those. Uh, I got some nice beetroot seeds. Those are going to come in handy. Got a lot of iron, which is good. We can use that. I don't need this andesite block. I don't need the granite block. Everything else I will keep for now. Okay. So let's head out this way. Possibly. Maybe. Come on, guys. Move out of the way. I'm just going to seal this area up real quick so I don't get messed up coming back down here. Alright, so it was up here even like a, uh, a way out. Oop, okay. I'm gonna go over here real quick and just place that. Okay. Ah! One of these rooms. Okay. Okay. That's taken care of. Luckily, most of the uh, the normal areas of this cave have already dealt with, and we've not, and we've lit them up. So that's that's always good. So I think if I just go this way, it should lead out or not. Maybe, hold on. I feel like we do this every time I leave this area, right? I should have made a bucket before we left. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. It's going to be a weird, like, janky way to go, but... Did I place it there on purpose? 
had to have, right? Okay. We're back out. Heck yeah. Did they try to shoot me and they shot each other? Idiots. Okay. Uh, my exit's over there. Ha ha. I'll just kill you while you fight each other. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. Oops. Ow. Wouldn't that just be messed up if that's what killed me? A little just drop while we were trying to climb our waterfall. Wait, no. Yeah, I got a, I got a bucket somewhere. Where the heck's it at? Did I leave it at home? I must have left it at home, huh? No, 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 no. Bye. I <laughs> uh, can't rest now, though. Fine. I'll just make a bucket now, then. Growl all you want, you can't come in. They're on top of me. Oh my god, there's a hole in the roof the entire time? Are you kidding? Oh my god. Y'all. Why did I not realize that? Why did I not look up? I guess we could just make a run for it. Anything I want from here? Uh, we can grab the rotten flesh. The sugar cane, definitely, so we can make some paper and stuff. We might just... Yeah, we might just go ahead and just make a... Uh, a strip mine and not come back here. This is my first hardcore world. Yes, indeed it is. I'm gonna grab that sand so we have that. Just a moment here. Let's go. If we can remember where I put my boat and not fall in a hole, I might just uh, hold a torch out. Yeah, it's my first hardcore world. I, uh, I never really liked the idea of, you know, making things and then just dying uh, and losing it all. That kind of play style never really had much of an impact with me, so I didn't until now and I was like, you know what? I'm really for some like chill Minecraft, but like let's make it a little more interesting with, you know, some death. Isn't my boat around here? Is it over there? I think it's over there. I see it. Let's go. Hopefully no drown decide to grab a trident and just smoke me. The one thing I do not like about these shaders is that it makes it almost impossible to see underwater. It's just way too hard. Everything's really just like dark and like murky underneath there. Did I hit a... God, the, the spider eyes are just like creepy as hell. Is that my base? Oh my god, it's so dim, I can barely see it. Yeah, this this ain't gonna work. I'm gonna have to, like... I'm gonna have to do something to this village. This ain't gonna work if we're gonna live here. I almost missed it. Okay. And there's my water bucket. Damn it, okay. First of all, let's start by just storing all of our stuff. I think we might just today do a... Uh, a building stream and a mining stream rather than an exploration and stuff stream here. Also, I was distracted. Thanks for the follow, Mr. Drad. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Well, let's go to bed, pass the night. Okay. 
All right. So the question is what we want to do to... God, I have a lot of gold or iron. My bad. Okay. The question is what to do to make this place better. Look at all those damn mobs over there. Got a creeper over there. Ugh. Okay. Just looking at this, it's like everything's run amok. I might try to just, like, destroy all the homes on the outskirts and make this little, like, peninsula area right here into the, uh, the main base. Yeah, that, that seems like a, uh, a good idea to do. Let's grab some of that. Uh, I'm gonna destroy that block since I don't need that. Alright. Operation Destroy Some Houses is a go. First of all, let's start with the houses over this way. Okay. I'm gonna take this. Because you guys, with your clerics, you aren't, uh, not exactly the best clerics either, so. I can just rebuild you guys if you lose your jobs. Man. I've been watching some, like, uh, of the Minecraft snapshot updates for the next, uh, for the cave update that's coming out. There's so much useful stuff that's coming out. Like, there's a lightning rod to protect your wooden house against lightning and thunderstorms. Uh, there's, like, uh, this new glass that you can use, uh, that you can break with, like, your fist and it actually drops an item. It's beautiful. It also is like, it's like dark glass, so if you have it somewhere, it does not, like, let light through, which is neat. So it's still, like, you can have it for mob grinders to see how many mobs are in your grinder and stuff like that. Very neat stuff. Very, very neat stuff. Hold on, I need to see what the hell this person's doing. Okay. I think I'll just leave the roofs for now. <laughs> I'll just take the wood and the uh, the stuff that makes up like most of the building, and we'll go from there. Also, I uh, I bought like 64 gigabytes more RAM, thinking that oh, if I get more uh, more RAM, I'll be able to deal with more. Uh, like chunk loading for the, the, the server, not the server, the uh, for Minecraft, you know. Uh, apparently not. I, I kicked it up to 64 chunks loaded, or render distance, and it like just started chugging. So uh, apparently I need, I don't know, I need to find out how to make my GPU allocate more stuff to Minecraft or something to use the shaders for that. I don't know. But it's not like it's bad. Yeah, like right now we have a chunk distance of 30, but it can go up to um, 64. And it says right there, 64 is ludicrous, requires 3 gigabytes of RAM allocated, which, uh, I mean, I have 64 allocated right now. And uh, it, let me tell you, it does not work. If I kick that up to 65, it's gonna just, just I keep wanting to say 65, I don't know why. But 64, it's, it's gonna like just start chugging and lagging and whatnot. Even though like my GPU and stuff isn't being like maxed out by it either, which I don't get. Although, I did only try it on my friend's server, so maybe it was a server issue. What if I, what if I do it now? Just all the way up. Give it a second to load. Yeah, see, this is what happens. It just gets, like, real stuttery. Not smooth at all. But it could just be because I, like, increased it by, like, 30 chunks, and now I have to reload 30 chunks. So maybe if I, like, just chill for a moment and let it catch up, it'll be fine. Like, stuff's still drawing in, right? So, 
Like if I just stand still, I can see stuff rendering. Not that I need to see that far, but it'd be nice. Yeah, I'm sure it's probably like poorly optimized, but like if I just, okay, so I'm just gonna sit here and I'll open up task manager and I'm only at 60 or 38% of my memory usage. So it's not RAM because this has like 64 allocated and that's not uh, that much. My CPU is only at 40%. My disk usage is 1%. GPU is 16%. So I'm not sure if maybe the CPU is being capped and that's why I can't go like take more space up or something. I don't know. Can I like right click on this and like go to properties and like, no, would it be, no, that's not going to work. Go to details. And then if I do Set priority, go like above normal, yeah, will that make it use more uh, CPU? I mean, I'm paying for like 100% CPU, <laughs> if I'm only using 30, you know, what's the point, you know? Nah, okay, that didn't seem to do much, we'll just drop it back down then. Meow. 30 chunks. It's not great, but I mean, it's okay, I guess. I'm gonna drop some torches down to light the area. I really wish that they would build in to Minecraft, like some sort of way to detect how much light is on each block, like there is in, uh, like what is it, JEI, where you have uh, like F7, where you can press that and like just show like the uh, light levels on places. Cause it's so handy to do. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this hay. Meow. Let's destroy this little hovel. Jeez, I'm just thinking about it, and if Trident guys were kicking my butt on easy or normal difficulty servers, I really don't want to get that one on a hard server. Because that's just going to, like, instant kill me at that point. Okay, I can leave this nonsense standing. Yeah, F3, if you look at something, it'll tell you, like, the light level. It's, uh, if you look under server light, I think? I don't know. F12 shows way too much shit. But, like, I don't know. So if I, like, look here and then look over here, does the light level change? Well, that's 12. Over here, it's, like, 11... And 10, then 9. Yeah, so I have to get further away from the light. So I can do that, but I'd have to look at each individual block. I can't just like press F7 and be like, boom! Okay, that area is red. Let's replace that. You know? Which is what I'd like to be able to do. Oh, there goes my, uh. That. So I thought once you take away their, uh their thing the little uh uh thing that they use to get their job i thought once you get rid of that they change back to a normal villager if you've not traded with them yet did they change that they might have i don't know anyway let's go make another uh axe and kind of store some of the stuff we got maybe start building up rather than tearing stuff down we do need a wall we definitely need a wall Got anything in here? No. Okay. Let's take this and this. Toss that and that. Okay. And 
Is that all my coal? Really? Okay, I'm gonna take half of that. And let's grab some of these. Make some more torches. But yeah, one thing that's really neat in the, the new cave update is they added copper ore, finally. Um, and then you can use that to make, like, lightning rods. I think there's, like, spy glasses, which are kind of like the, uh, the Optifine's, like, zoom feature and whatnot. Uh, and, like, the copper that they have can be made into blocks. And the really cool thing about that is that once it's blocks, like, over time, it oxidizes. So it goes from, like, the, the shiny, like, copper color copper to, like, the green, like, the Statue of Liberty copper is. Uh, which is really cool if you uh, are into that kind of stuff. I think it's kind of neat. But there's also a way to use, like, beeswax to uh, wax the copper, which makes it so it does not uh, progress further down the line of uh, that stuff. Yeah. Very descriptive, I know. But uh, I think that's pretty neat. And, hello, sir. You gonna use one of my beds? Oh, you're a normal villager. Hey, he reverted. Excellent. Where's my... Okay, so that's my bed, first of all. But you know what? You can have it. That's fine. I'm not gonna be an asshole about it. Ah, oh, man. I thought I put another one down. Eh. Okay. Let's grab some copper. <laughs> I'm on a copper nose here. But... I don't know. I really look forward to just seeing all the different like stuff that comes with the cave update like the uh, the different caves and just how they work with it the thing i'm most excited for though is uh the the wireless like redstone stuff i know very very descriptive of what exactly that stuff is but it seems so awesome that wireless redstone stuff because it's it's uh it's found like way underground in these underground like places and you can collect it there and then you like place it down and if it like senses any like movement or like if you uh, like, like if a switch you throw a switch and it sends like a wireless signal from like here all the way over there or like to multiple things too which is kind of neat so i'm really interested to get a hold of that and definitely see what can be done with all that fun jazz you know i think it'll be neat I'm gonna just board up some of this, make it a little bit bigger of a space. Okay. They were gonna build a wall. I think we'll start from over here. It's just gonna be a simple uh, two tier, two level wall so nothing can climb over it except for spiders, but that's fine because spiders can do whatever they want. Okay. Then we'll go back. That way, zombies can't jump over it from that angle. Go back here. And we'll go back here. One more. Okay, perfect. Okay. Let's do uh, two more there. Okay. There we go. So mainly this is just to keep out uh, monsters, and if there is a raid, the, the villager or the pillager raids that are coming. Let's just drop down there. Because I'd like to protect my villagers uh, against that. While still having kind of a neat little setup, you know? Man, I have not played, like, the newer version of Minecraft for, like, ever because I mainly play with mods. So, like, as I said at the beginning of the screen, I had to, like, relearn a bunch of stuff. Like, oh, how do I make this, uh, how do I make a, a powered rail, for example? I had to figure that out. Which was kind of dumb because it's like, oh, yeah, it's just redstone and then a stick and then gold. I was thinking there was something, like, harder to it, but apparently not. Sir, I'm gonna have to demolish your house. I hope you don't uh, don't mind, but 
your house is kind of in the way, you know, so, yep, he understands. Wait, wait, blacksmith. <gasps> no! Oh, well, I can, I can... Yeah, there you go. I'm sure you understand, right? Normal villager? Yes, okay. I like how each of the villagers have, like, their own, like, outfit for, like, the biome. So, like, uh, the, obviously the people in this area have, like, a more fancy-looking uh, skin to them. Whereas people in, like, uh, like the taiga, or not the taiga, though, like, the snowy biomes, they have, like, different, like, warmer-looking clothing, you know? And then desert ones have more, you know, desert-appropriate attire and all that kind of stuff, which is cool. I like that they added that. That's, that's one of the great things that added, because before it was just like, oh, it's a normal villager. That's cool. All right, so I think we'll go from here. Wait till the golem gets inside the area. I'll make a door later. Right now, I'm just going to get uh, everything secured. Actually, no, I'm not going to make a door, because there's just the open water that we can use. So, never mind. Okay, let's turn this into logs. Boop. Okay. Excellent. I can even get like a little sea turtle uh, place going over there if I wanted to. And I think I'll just kind of make the wall like this so I don't have to go down and waste a lot of wood. kind of go around this house. I don't know why I'm doing three. Ow. And just to make sure this guy doesn't fall off, we're going to need to uh, build up a little bit here. They don't have the villagers just walking on top of the walls getting shot, you know what I'm saying? fortifications. Okay. Uh, this guy's getting a real fancy house, whoever's in like this hovel here. They're getting a nice like private wall and stuff. Maybe I just do this. Like that. Yeah, okay. And then I'll make some like stairs going down from here and whatnot. It'll be real fancy once we actually get uh get all that going. Um Good God. So Sorry, I ordered food, well, groceries, online, and they keep sending me texts being like, oh, hey, we're out of this. Would you like this instead? And it's like, goddammit. So they're like, hey, here's a picture of like this stuff we have. We could, we could sell you this instead of uh, those. Would you like this instead? And I'm like, uh, sure, that's fine. Or for this one, they were like, hey, do you want these... Uh, do you want these uh, these different kind of raspberries than what you chose? And I'm like, not, uh, not really. I'm very particular with fruit. Personally, if I really, really did not want to leave my house, I would uh, get my own fruit. But I really don't want to leave my house or my apartment, whatever. But because I really like not going out in public. It's so great. Okay. Let's take a quick peek here. Let me get rid of this grass. So we got this house here. Okay. I'm getting rid of the grass so we can just place down torches easier and expand like a farmland area out here. And all that good jazz.
Can you repair iron golems? Do you just like right click them with like iron? Or does that have to be an iron block? I feel like I remember you being able to repair them. I just don't remember how. Maybe it was like better to like not repair them, but to like just make a new one, right? I'm taking these barrels. You guys don't need them, okay? They're my barrels now. Yeah, I was thinking it was iron, but I'm not sure. You know what one, like, improvement to Minecraft would definitely be that I would love to see? Some sort of, like, lawnmower thing where you just, like, carry it around and rather than having to, like, left-click like this, it just destroys grass in, like, an area around you. Like, maybe, like, make it a, a magic spell or something, like grass removal or something. Or, uh... Maybe make it so, like, if you wanted to be uh, less, like, automation about it, get, like, goats or something in addition to sheep, and the goats can just, like, chew on all the grass, and they'll eventually, like, get rid of all the grass, so... That'd be kind of fun to have. Hey, I got a sheep inside. That's cool. Uh, I I do not know how to make an iron farm. I've watched people do it. I've also watched people make like villager farms and stuff like that. And I'm just like, I don't know if I have the patience for this. Like a mob grinder is basically the extent of the patience that I have for doing uh, like automated stuff like that. And even, like, mob grinding isn't really automated. Like, yeah, there's fire, but fire would also kind of mess up stuff. Uh... Sorry, they texted me again. You know, when I was filling out the form to have uh, groceries delivered and stuff, there's literally a box that says, do you want this substituted, yes or no? And it uh, was filled out as no on a lot of the items they're asking me about. So I'm like, no, I do not need a substitute for this. Please stop texting me. Rah. Like, I specifically said, okay, if there's uh, not any of this particular item, substitute with this item. Like, uh, I'm getting pasta sauce, right? And uh, I was like, okay, if you don't have this three cheese kind, give me the traditional normal kind, and that'll be fine. So, or for like, uh, if you don't have normal, you know, if you don't have this kind of pizza, give me this kind of pizza, that kind of thing. But... Can I just say how great, like, online grocery shopping is? Like, if you have the option to do it, it is so nice. Because I've not had to leave my apartment in months. Granted, I, I still leave it to get the mail every Tuesday, which I didn't get it today. Huh. I should probably go get the mail tonight. So my mail box isn't overflowing. Okay. Okay. I need more torches now, though. Let's grab this and that. Oops, not that. Uh, you. I'm just going to turn all this coal into torches. Okay. Store that, store those, store those, store those, store this, and that. Okay. And now, let's take a nappy nap. Pass the time. Okay. Hello there, villager. You're very close to me. All right, so these are normie villagers, it looks like. Although why they have different colored outfits, I'm not sure. Look, guys, if you're going to go into my house, learn how to use the door. God. 
No respect, I tell you. No respect. I really want to widen out this farm. The way that this farm was laid out in, like, generation really pisses me off. Like, you have no idea. Like, there's a random fence here. There's, like, grass in some places and none in others. There's just, like, random fields here for some reason. And then there's, like, water there that's dripping down the mountain. Oh, my God. Whoever designed this procedural generator chan really needs to get just hit on the face. Also, am I starting to, like, lag? I don't know why. I don't, I don't understand Minecraft and lag. Like, there's an FPS meter somewhere, right? Somewhere in this stuff, right? Yeah, right at the top. FPS is like 11? Bruh, okay. I don't know why it's 11, but let's just drop the trunk render distance down to like 25. Will that help? We're at 30 now. I don't know why it was like tanking. Shaders are weird. Anyway, uh, let's get rid of that water as well. that water, get rid of that water, so all the uh, farmland goes away after time. And I like this village, but I really do not like the layout of it very well. Okay. Also, I think instead of, like, a golem iron... Uh, farm. Don't, uh, doesn't something else drop, like, iron nuggets that you could use for that, like... I feel like it was drowned, maybe, do? Don't drown drop something like that that you could use to just farm them with. They texted me again. I'm very not amused by this. But I'm also not an asshole. I'm just going to ignore them. How are you out of harshy syrup? What? Okay. I did not foresee them being out of Hershey's chocolate syrup. I don't know how that is a thing that is out of. Because literally every time I'm in the store, there's like... 30 bottles plus. Okay, real talk, guys. Is something going on again with, like, lockdowns or something? Is that why so much shit is missing from the stores? Like, I don't... What? They also, I guess, just put up a notification on the website as well saying the toilet paper was limited to one uh, package per customer. Uh... Huh. I don't know. You'd think working for a grocery store, I would know if this was a thing or not. I do know that uh, Biden, uh, he plans on doing some lockdown stuff, but I figured it would be closer to, like, January 20th when people would start panic buying and stuff like that again. Not during Trump's presidency since he's doing nothing. But, uh, I don't know. We're just gonna lop down some torches. More is more is better. Okay. Okay. I wish they didn't just text back thank you and then what well, I wish they would just like leave it at okay, you replied. I don't have to talk back to you. Thank you. Okay. Anyway. It's kinda harder to see where you need torches during the day. That's one thing. I might I think I'm gonna get rid of this entire like landmass here. Yeah. Okay. So, before we do anything else with, like, landscaping, I really want to make sure all the villages are inside and have good jobs. Okay. So, first of all, we need more chests. So. Boop. Okay. I think I can make one more. Imagine not having an extra double chest. There we go. I can also put down barrels, so uh, let's put a barrel there, put a barrel there, put a barrel there. Let's get rid of that torch. 
Chest there, chest there, chest there, chest there. Okay. I can sort all this nonsense later. But for now, I'm just going to put it all in here massively. Once I get more houses and stuff built and everything the way I want it perfectly aligned in this area, then, and only then, will I be able to say it's good. Okay. Store that there. Okay. Let's go. So we're going to leave the, uh, the confines of the village. Or the, the, the village, quote unquote. And I'm going to see if there's any villagers who are left outside. See if I can get them uh, inside the walled area. Preferably. Like that guy there, the farmer. Also, I was building um, my home in my uh, not hardcore world. And I realized that there's no real difference between the uh, stripped logs and the, what is it, stripped log planks or something? I think that's what it is. So I'm like, that's weird at least from the side from the, the top of course there is because the uh uh wood has the the trunk in the middle of it you know that that bit but i don't know it's just weird uh, to me don't mind me oh there's two people out here huh okay I think I'm actually going to leave, like, the stairs and stuff here. I'm just going to take off, like, the top of this. Make it a nice little lookout area. Just held up by sheer will. Actually, I'm going to put some logs back down. Make it look a little bit nicer. Like, yeah. Okay. Let's, let's, uh, boop. So we'll do that, that, and that. Then we'll do that, and that, that, and that. There we go. Okay. Much better. I think that looks a lot better than it did, personally. Like, it's less defensive, but, like, it's still really neat. Kind of like a, a deer stand or something, you know? Okay. I'm trying to think... Isn't the only way to move villagers to, like, put them in a boat? Like, you can't lure them, right? There's no way to lure villagers, unfortunately. I'm going to loot all their crops out here, though, so the, uh, the farmer doesn't try to, like, come back to this area. A lot of melons. Crops. I love melons. Melons are, like, my favorite Minecraft food, even though I don't like melon in real life. They're uh, a very neat food because, like, they're easy to get. You don't have to, like, do any extra nonsense to, like, produce them into their food form. And you can just carry, like, a bunch of them. And, like, yeah, it's great. Although, technically, if you're making a huge-ass farm, you can just get a bunch of uh, wheat and stuff. And I suppose that's also... Okay, if you want to make a bunch of bread to put in your inventory, considering it heals like four, but... I don't know. I feel like the better foods are such a waste. Whereas a melon, it heals like like one, one and a half uh, of your health, or your hunger anyway. Because that's really when I eat. I don't wait for my health to go down. I always keep my hunger up, or at least I try to. Uh, because if it goes down and I get into a fight, then, well, I'm kind of screwed. You know. All right, anything else around this area out here? Where's the farmer's, uh, like, job thing? He has, like, a compost bin somewhere, right? I think I'm gonna make this a little taller, actually. People could just jump over that. Okay, not much wood. Ow. Is it over here? No? 
Where the hell is his job thing at? Huh? Ow. Is it in this? No? Bruh, where's it at? It's supposed to be a compost bin for a farmer, right? Well, I can make a huge ass farm. That's that's a plus, right? So I need to make a boat real quick. Hold up. Boat. Okay. I'm gonna cut down these melons. They're in the way. The water's more in the way, though. If I'm being honest. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, seriously, where the hell is the farmer's home at? It can't be outside the wall, right? This is a lectern. Hey, why aren't one of you taking that job? Also, how'd the farmer get inside the wall? Eh? Nani? water to jump over there. Or is that a different farmer? Not a problem, Drad. Thanks for hanging out and sticking around and whatnot, dude. You can catch the VOD up on uh, the YouTube channel. I upload them there, so if you're on the YouTubes, you'll definitely be able to catch anything you miss if you want to check it out. rest of your night or day or wherever you're at. Oh, there's some turtles hanging out in the cave down here, huh? But for real, though, where the hell is this farmer's job thing at? I can't find it. 2 a.m. Oh, yeah, get some bed. Get some, get some, get some bed. Yeah, get some bed. Get some sleep. Hey, you want to get in my boat here? Hey, there we go. So I think I can just, like, boat them around like this, right? It's slow, but I'm not taking them very far, so that's okay. Okay. Time to get out. Welcome to your new home. You're not allowed to leave. Bye. So did the farmer walk around here, or is he like... Still somewhere else. Mr. Farmer. Mr. Farmer. I know, I can use my little lookout to see if he's around here. Oh cool, I got some pigs over there, some sheep. I could use some cows. Cows are definitely what I need right now. Because uh, without cows, I cannot make leather to get books. To get an enchanting table. It's a shame, like, everything doesn't drop leather, you know? So I guess the uh, the farmer must have came inside, huh? But where is his job thing at? Interesting. Yeah. Okay. there's not one there. There's not one down there. It's not like it's in a house, right? They wouldn't put a compost bin in a house. No. This is just a tower, which, again, I don't know. Actually, I'll leave that door there. I need doors for people.
Where is his stuff? I'm gonna destroy all these crops, by the way. Also, I'm gonna change the, uh, the title of the stream real quick. Rather than being back in the mines, it's, uh, <laughs> we're, uh, we're making a village. That's what we're doing. It's a little more true to what we're actually uh, trying to accomplish right now. Alright, so I think the only other crops are down there right now, right? So, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get where his home is at, man. Also, I'm like hella blind. I don't... Did he lose his job? Maybe? Nope, he's right there still. How? Sir, how? Well, anyway. For now, we need to build a farm. So we have some sort of, like, sustenance. Right, sheep? Right. Okay, get out of the way. One, two... Three, four, five. Boop. Okay. That'll work. I just need to get a hoe so I can actually make stuff. Huh, huh. Yeah. Ow. Let's get rid of all this nonsense. Hey, a melon grew right as I destroyed its thing. Nice. Laura, leave the crops alone. No, we need those to eat. No. Hey, Pip, welcome. To be honest, you didn't really miss much. Uh, we went back to the uh, the mine shaft and had a couple of close calls with a bunch of zombie boys and stuff and a spider. But other than that, we uh, we decided to build up a little bit around here. And again, farmer, how how are you here? I don't understand what is making you a fu did I trade with you? Nope. Shit. I did not mean to put that there. I, I didn't trade with you, definitely. Because I didn't have string. I know that much. Although, if you have string... So... Uh, I might I might use your services, sir. Did I build a hoe? I don't think I did. I'll just make a hoe now. We'll grab some beetroot, some pumpkins. Grab all of our seeds and anything that's down here. Uh, da, 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 da. Any more seeds in this one? Potatoes. Any carrots? Do I have carrots? I don't think I have carrots. Unfortunately. What about up here? I can store the wheat. Grab these. Okay. This will work. This will work. This will work, 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 work. How's my week been? Not bad, actually. It's been really, really great because we've not had a lot of uh, issues at work. So, it's been real nice and chill. Is it over there? No. No. Nah. Well, I'm going to come check it out. How's your week been, Pip? Been staying out of trouble? Why is there just... It's so weird. I don't know why there's just like a random like thing of dirt out in the middle of the ocean there. If this is where his thing is at, it's not. I don't know. Why is this even here, though? My mans. Where's his compost thing at? So in case you don't know, um... Basically, all the villager jobs are tied to a specific, like, item. And in order to change their job, you have to destroy the item, assuming you have not, like, traded with them yet. So there, there should be a compost bin that the, uh, the farmer villager has. Is it in this cave? Y'all being sneaky and putting stuff in this cave? That's a creeper! That's a creeper! Um. 
Oh, there's a zombie villager in this cave, so... Oh, damn it, I wanted to shield, not... Okay. Well. That was fun. That's good to hear, Pip. All right. Oh, I'm full on everything. I guess I'll just get rid of some seeds since I don't think I need like 80 bajillion seeds. I do need coal though, I'm out of that. Can villagers that have jobs breed? I don't recall if they can or not. This is a lot of coal, oh my god. I'm used to just like getting a couple uh, from a vein, but this is like... Good gosh. All of this from here all the way in there was coal. Good God. Oh, I don't have anything to pick up this iron with. Okay, there we go. Just throw more seeds on the ground. I don't need that gunpowder. I'm going to light this area up here a little bit more. There we go. Let's grab this coal. Also, the more levels we get, the better. So... We can enchant something. Can you enchant a shield? Can you put mending on a shield? Because if you can, ooh boy. It's probably not worth it. Jeez, I already got 64 coal. Because they need, what, like 80 seeds to uh, plant? Alright, let's put that there. Uh oh, it's becoming night. I'm gonna steal that water. Okay. That's a creeper. Okay. I'm gonna put that there. Climb up the wall. Okay. I honestly have no idea where this farmer's thing is at, and it's really bugging me. Alright, anyway, back to what we were doing pre- I didn't make the hoe. Ah, oh, I'm so smart. Okay. Let's throw the potatoes away for a second. Let's get our working crafting bench. Let's make our hoe. There she is, okay. I also need to light this area up real quick now that it's night before we uh, continue on with anything else. Literally anything else. We need to make sure everything's well lit so creatures don't spawn in here and explode, gank my stuff, or the, uh, the villagers' stuff. So let's do that real quick like. Oh, this looks good. This place right here needs a torch. Over here could use a torch again. Right there, right over here, let's put one over here. Right there. I said put one right. Okay, I can't put it because I'm on the path. That's fine. I'm gonna light everything up nice and beautiful so I can see this motherfucker from space. Okay. I will need to at some point go around the wall and uh, light up the wall itself, definitely. Don't forget to go back here. Because if the wall itself isn't lit, then they can just uh, crawl around on that and stuff. Okay, do I have a bed? I do not, okay. 
Eh, okay. So, now that we have our little hoe, ho, 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 let's go ahead and get some farmland going. Move that. Excuse me, sheep. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. There's the potatoes. I'm gonna leave a space. One, two, three, four. Oh, here's five. Put in the water. Now we'll do seeds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then one, two, yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now we can just fill this area in. And then bop, 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 okay. Huh? Iron Golem, no! Iron Golem Chan, no! Hold up. Iron Golem, stay hidden. Stay low. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to go three low. high, huh? No! Golem! Don't do it! Don't go over that wall! You're okay. I go here. Yep. Okay. We'll do that. Make it a little more reinforced right there. Okay. Then we can also put stuff on this wall here. Okay. Okay. Let's continue planting. Okay, one more. I forget, what do you actually get out of uh, a compost bin when you put stuff in it? Is it bone meal? A compost bin is like that, right? Nope. Okay, uh, that? Nope, okay, hold on, gotta research it. Uh, Minecraft composter. Composter is... Planks. It's a little weird, but okay. I do need planks anyway, so. Do 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 do. Composter. Okay, before we place that down, I'm gonna get some slabs over the top of the farmland. Put torches on the farmland, because I don't. I don't think. So. I don't think mobs can actually spawn on tilled farmland, right? I seem to remember that. I know they can't spawn on, like, paths. You know? Okay. I at least want to get the potato and the uh, wheat farm made. I think the villagers, they grow... Wheat. I'm not sure if they take care of other pl I think they take care of other plants, yeah. Also, I don't remember how villager farming works. Don't they, like, put excess stuff into a chest? That's how it works, right? Question mark? Hmm. Let's eat some bread, though. Okay. Hello, Mr. Iron Golem. Okay. Cat! Where'd you come from? Where's yourself? Get 
get rid of this grass real quick. I hate grass. Okay. Gotta put a torch here, a torch there, make it more nice and homey. Okay. So, let's... Let's see. If I have dirt, I do. Let's cover these holes up real quick. Okay. Let's get rid of this fence post. Put that there. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna get rid of these holes in the water. Oh, I can make it a bit better. There we go. Okay, so I need to. Hello, everyone. I'm gonna take their beds away. Okay. Uh, I need to destroy seeds first. Ba, 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 ba. I don't need normal seeds anymore, so that's fine. Okay. Also, coals. I'm gonna go there. And we're gonna destroy more coal there. Let's get rid of these melons. Let's get rid of the sandstone. I don't think I need 64 melon seeds, to be honest, but I'll hold on to them for right now. Uh, let's get rid of the iron there, the wheat there. Cicadia slabs. Okay, so we got a composter. We got a boat to move around people. Uh, we got a couple of beds. Uh, I need a... One of these brewing stand. There's a lectern over there, which we'll get to in a moment. Uh, I think I need this blast furnace to make a blacksmith. Okay. Why do you guys insist on coming into my house? Okay. Okay. So I think the plan that I'm gonna go, uh, that I'm gonna go with, my God. Um, I would like to see if I can just make each villager like confined to a house. So I'm gonna grab some fences. And let's see, I think they need that, they need a bed. And that should be all. Okay. So. Hey, farmer. I swear to God, I sold another farmer up here, didn't I? Am I making that shit up? Nope. Okay. I need to plug those holes. Or else the villagers are going to fall in it like this guy did. You fool! You absolute fool! So anyway, here's what's going to happen. Uh, we're going to get done building our, our villager farm here. And then the very next time we decide to leave the base, we're going to get uh, killed. Because, of course, why wouldn't I spend like an hour building a base only to like die the very next time, you know? Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you out, sir. There you go. There's some water. Do you want to move now? Or... What are you doing, sir? There we go. Okay. I can turn this into planks later. All right. So let's find... Perfect. Get in there. Just fucking get in there. Get in there, you... Jack... Ass. Seriously, get, get, just move, bro. Is the carpet is the carpet preventing you from getting in there? Is that it? Oh, it, it was. Go, go back in. Go back in. I'm trying to try to close you off in there, dude. Come on, come on. You can do it. There we go. All right. So now I can give him a bed. Boop. So we can just sleep there. Right, what do you got for trades? You got a curse of binding. That is literally a cursed book, dude. Wait for him to go away and place it down again. And ba -ba -da -da, maybe there we go. Fortune three. 
Although it's for 27. I think we should try to get a mending book is what we should try to do. Infinity for six. Nah, I don't use bows much. Like I said, uh, we're going to go for mending. We're going to do this for a couple of times, and then uh, until I get bored or think we've gone too far. Fire aspect, okay. Uh... Impaling. I think that's for the trident? Curse of Vanishing. Yeah, because I want to curse my own shit, sir. That's definitely what I want to do. Ideally, what would be great to have with them is a... Uh, I'll just place that there, then. Feather Falling? Nah. Ideally, it'd be good to have... Um, like, paper to trade. Like, like this. Like, yeah, yeah, paper to an emerald. And then he also has, like, a book or something that I want. Like, mending. So, paper and a book. Or paper and mending is what I'd like to trade for and whatnot. Sir, can you... Can you there you go. See, so yeah, as long as you don't trade them anything, you can keep doing this. And it'll, uh... Keep cycling through. Like, RNG. Until you, uh... Can find something you want. Oof. Though. It's kind of nice that they run towards it and, you know, grab it like that. You know, I might just block up there and that way he can't get in the corner if I'm trying to talk to him here. Bop. Aqua affinity. That's... I can breathe more underwater, right? Knockback. So honestly, as, as long as we find a mending book, it doesn't matter how expensive it is. We just want a mending book. That's all. Quick charge, that's for crossbows, ain't it? Blast protection. That was blast protection fucking four, too. God damn. Sir. Sir, you're giving me some, like, geese, decent trades here, but I'm gonna need you to be, like, mending. That way I can... <laughs> I thought it just glitched out and I would not be able to get it back. Because that'd suck, because I can't make books yet. Although I could just tear down his bookshelves if I really wanted books. So, are you getting tired of me doing this yet? Huh? Huh? Are you? Are you, Mr. Man? Silk Touch. Fuck, I need that in my normal worlds. Or in my friend's server, I should say. Is where I specifically need Silk Touch at. Can you move? Thank you. Blast Protection 2. I don't know. If I can find, like, a paper for, like, maybe a, a bunch... Ah, oh, Sweeping Edge. No, it's so good! Sweeping Edge 3, too, homie. So if I can find, like, a really good, like, paper trade, maybe I'll take it. Like, one paper for, like, two diamonds. Or not two diamonds, two emeralds. That'd be cool. Right? <laughs> right? So far, it seems to be the 24 paper it goes into uh, an emerald, is what it seems like. Luck of the Sea. Hmm, that'd be good to, like, get loot and stuff. A shame, it doesn't matter. Efficiency 4? For 43 diamonds. Yeah, emeralds. Ugh. I'm not doing that, man. Flame. Shit. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, his prices are higher now because I hit him. But, uh, that's fine. All we gotta do is find a mending book. Right, sir? Maybe you shouldn't run around like an idiot and uh, get in my way. And I won't hit you, sir. Huh? 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 Looting. Maybe I should try just punching up the normal hand rather than getting an axe, huh? No, it's gonna take too long like that. Look, man. Help me help you. Give me some good trades. You're killing me, bro. 
Fortune 3 for 18. I might just keep that. I might just keep that until... Uh, I, I can always get more villagers, I guess. It's not bad. I'm just keeping that one. Okay. Now I just gotta get the hell out of here. Okay. Okay, Mr. Villager, stay in your home. You have a good time. And, uh... I know you guys want jobs, too. But just give me a second. And we will do that for you. Seriously, farmer, where is your job at? Where? Huh? 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 Okay. Uh, it's almost night. And then we'll sleep the night away. And it'll be a lovely, lovely day. We're just gonna watch you sleep now, villager. My bad. Okay. Actually, I can use this house as a place. Go, bop, 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 Louie. Okay. Let's get a villager in here then, shall we? No, you idiots. I didn't want both of you in there. Come on. Come on. Who wants to be the blacksmith? Huh? Who wants to be the blacksmith? Who wants to be the blacksmith? <gasps> you do! Okay. Alright, what you got, sir? 15 coal for... I forgot there's a door there. Shit. <laughs> Alright, well, one of you has to leave. And I think it's gonna be you, sir. There you go. Bye. Okay. Alright, you're gonna be the blacksmith now. Maybe? Are these the villagers that can't be trained and stuff? Is that what that is? Okay, you know what? Here. I thought you were going to be a good one, but you know what? Get get out. Get out! I said get out! You don't deserve to be here. Where'd the other villager go? Where's that man at? Farmer, why are you on the roof? Okay, well, maybe I just, uh... Right, where did he go? Oops. Damn holes. I need to terraform this place. So badly. You! Boat. Are you going for it? Are you going for it? Is he doing it? I think he's doing it. No! Get out! Stop it! Stop it! No! Get in there! You get out! You get in! You get out! You get in! You get out! Oh my god! Where did he go? No, where did he go? Okay. Good God. It's like dealing with three-year-olds. Okay. Yeah, that's a bad trade. Didn't mean to take that. Put that there. Okay. Become one. There we go. No, again. Look, I pretty much, Blacksmith, I will take anything that's like a decent coal trade. I'm not really sure what the blacksmiths can, like, sell. 15 cold for an emerald? No. Anything lower than 15 coal, I think we take. Come on! Do you 
work. Actually, hold on. Uh, Minecraft villager jobs. A guide. Uh, this is a... If that image is huge, there we go. Okay. So armorers. They can have a full suit of... Oh my god, they can trade for diamonds at the later tiers? Okay. So it looks like... It's mainly coal for diamond, and then the first tier is always going to be, like, coal or some sort of, like, iron chest or iron armor. Then there's iron ingots for emeralds, or there's a bell you can get, and there's chain mail. Uh, you can also get a shield, and like I said, the later tiers you can get uh, diamond armor from him. Enchanted diamond armor, it looks like. Uh... See, there's a butcher, which you can give him meat for emeralds. You know what? We, we might we might just get rid of the blacks, the armorer entirely, because I don't think I'm gonna see myself needing much armor. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take that stuff away. Yeah, this is mine, not for you. So what what do I want here? What do I want? Let me let me actually real quick. Let's uh, let's edit this layout. Let's add an image. And I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. So add an image, no an image. Uh, save as desktop. So if I do this and then go to browse, then go to desktop, and then I can go. What, what is this called? Like MW. What the fuck is this? So there's a PNG. Yes. Reverse that. That, that. Select. It's not working. Okay. Well, that was useless. It uh didn't want to save the proper way. Anyway, so there's fishermen who trade for fish, there's butchers who trade for meat. There's librarians who trade for books and paper and all that fun stuff. There's toolsmiths who trade tools for emeralds and all that kind of stuff. There's a leather worker who trades leather for emeralds. It's kind of pointless. Um, he also trades leather armor, which sucks in general. Uh, there's a cleric, which they trade uh, rotten flesh for emeralds. Gold for emeralds. Looks like a rabbit's foot for emeralds. Uh, is that green dye for emeralds? There's uh, bottles for emeralds. You can get... I might just make a bunch of clerics. <laughs> uh, it looks like the cartographer gives you maps and stuff like that. The Fletcher gives you arrows. You can give sticks. No, no, no. You can give sticks for an emerald? Or cobweb for an emerald. Oh my god. That's... I think we're going to make a Fletcher. Uh, Mason is not good. Uh, Weaponsmith is coal. And you can get an emerald. You can also get some enchanted gear. Okay. So really what we need is a Fletcher. We need a Cartographer. A Cleric. A Fisherman would be good. A Librarian is definitely what we need. A Butcher would be good too, because we can get a... Uh, a farm going of animals and get that stuff traded over. Uh, so yeah, okay. So let me look and see what, what do we want to do first. Well, I can make him a, uh, a brewing stand here. So I can make him a cleric. So 32, huh? Can we do any better than 32? I'm gonna I'm gonna try a couple here. Because it seems like for the Cleric, 32 is a hard set. Yeah? Is it? Yeah, okay. It doesn't change. So we got to do 32 Rotten Flesh for Emeralds. That's fine. That's nothing major. Okay. I'm going to switch Rees around. No! Go! You're staying here. Ha 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 ha. Okay. So there's my Cleric. He can uh, take rotten flesh, which we can get plenty of from the zombie spawner down there. 
in the, uh, the mine, which is good. All right, next up. Okay, seriously, while it's still day out, it's, it's annoying me. I do not like not knowing where this goddamn farmer's like composter is. There has to be a composter somewhere. I just do not know where. Where? Where is it at? It's gonna drive me mad, man. It's gonna drive me mad. It, it has to be like hidden somewhere like weird, right? Like it's in a tree or it's like just off by itself, not near crops. Cause I destroyed all the crop areas around here and there's no composter. Unless it's like way the hell over here somewhere. Nothing there. Doesn't appear to be anything there. Let's keep going this way. Looks like the village extends further over this way. I'm not seeing anything that would be indicative of a composter around this area. These are all animals. Okay. All right, you little shit. Where'd you put it? You're driving me loopy, man. I, I, I just I don't get it. There has to be one, because he has a job, right? It's not down there. I already checked. I guess let's go outside around here. Nothing down there, nothing over here. Maybe in this little drop down here? Nope. There's nothing over here. That's a sheep. Bah. That's a creeper. I don't think the village extends further over that way. That's a skelly bro. Oop, that was close. Almost hit me in the back of the head. He's really trying though. Just some of them boys. And there's nothing here. Because I've flattened everything out. I've got all the land. Unless it's like underground somewhere, somehow? I don't know. It's really bothering me that I don't know where the hell this farmer's thing is at. It's bothering you too, right? Villager who cannot have a job because you're a fucking lazy bastard. Right? Wait. Huh? How the... F no. How did the farmer get in there? Farmer, how did you do that? No, no. Farmer? Cleric, no. Farmer. I guess I could just leave him taking string, but... I'd like him to do his damn job. Okay, I'm gonna leave the farmer in there, too. Screw it. I don't know where his job's at. He, he's quarantined. As long as they're not in my house, I don't give a fuck. Okay. So what else do we got? We got another farming job we can give someone. So I think what I'll do... I'm going to get another another villager to become a farmer. This boy here. He's going to be our new farmer. Come get your job. Okay, carrots and beetroots. Okay. I don't have either of those, though, so I'm going to take this back. I need you to have wheat as a trade. There we go. That'll work. Okay. So that's a nice, easy trade we can do with this 
we have plenty of wheat here and whatnot. So I want you, Mr. Farmer, to uh, take care of some crops for me, okay? Also, let's find out what this makes. Okay, and then I right click it and it gives me bone meal. Okay, bone meal is what it gives. Gotcha. That makes sense. I don't know why I was like, I wonder what it'll give us. Ooh. Hey, farmer, do you want to do your job though? Is that okay? Do you, do you want to do that? You're supposed to like automatically plant, plant crops and stuff, dude. I don't know why this one's here. Uh, spider? I guess I'm kind of glad that the spider didn't decide to attack the villager, but okay. That was weird. Farmer, what, what are you doing? Okay, there we go. I want to put a chest here as well, because I think... I think that they can put excess stuff in there. I think I don't know okay so we got him doing that stuff there's at least one more villager here right that isn't like got a job he's still mad at me I'm sorry dude I'm sorry wait why is that lure why did you change your your trades sir I know it wasn't lure before. I know we settled on. Maybe I gotta trade with him first to lock it in. Is that how that works? I'm tired of looking at these melons. Okay. Okay. I thought there was at least one other villager. Am I wrong? I guess there's the one who doesn't have a job, but... Yeah, okay. Well, I think, for now, that's just where we'll end things. I'm going to save this map real quick. Not this map, the, uh, the trade thing for the, the guys. Um, anyway... There we go. All right. So we're gonna end things for you here, everyone. Um, next time we'll come back, and I don't know. We'll try to do some more stuff and some things. I might before I actually quit the world. I'm gonna level out uh, that little area that uh, was in the way. Uh, some of the land. I'm gonna terraform a little bit more. I'm not gonna leave the the safety of the area. So I should not die, but in the, the random event that I do die somehow, magically, in some weird and godforsaken way, we'll unfortunately be starting fresh tomorrow. <laughs> so we shouldn't, but we should be fine. So thumbs up. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, like I said previously, if you've missed anything, you can catch the VODs on the Plague and Shiki YouTube channel. Um, you can go to Plug in Gaming on Twitter and follow me there for when I go live. All that kind of good stuff. And, uh, yeah. Fun, fun, fun. So, ooh. You know what? How do I, how do, I do a raid? Raid. And then... So, we're going to raid Kriken. He's a great streamer. He's actually doing a... Uh, a Minecraft game show right now uh, called Kriken's Coliseum. It's kind of like a, uh, an interesting tower defense thing he's doing. This is his second official one of doing it. Kind of interesting. We're going to raid him, and uh, you guys can go enjoy that if you're interested. So thank you all for watching once again, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye for now.